Let's go to Friday night, eh? How good was this? Who played Friday night? Team the HBA Stadium. The lights are on. The werewolves are out. And no one could go in. <laughs> but let me tell you, the Cats were very good. Hawthorne <laughs> were OK early. But uh, just the Cats. And we did love, like some young boys here that played really good footy. Oh, no, no scoreboard. Right, okay. Come on, Bill. You've been, you've been <laughs> having a crack at everyone. We're going to have a look. look at the, the big incident. Exactly. The, the, the big incident out the of it, Bill, was... Out, yes, yeah, the, the, the big incident was the, oh, the Sean no. Burgoyne um, <laughs> sling tackle on Paddy Dangerfield. Now, he's only been fined by the AFL for, for this incident. And I... Look, I'm, I'm pretty strong on this. That what do you reckon? The Metro Review panel, in my reckoning, Bill, on, on the back of giving him a fine and not a suspension, has... Rescinded the Ooh. right to be able to say that they actually do care for the player's head. Now, while I, I don't want to be too dramatic in that, that, that is a pinned arm, that is a sling motion. It is what the players are now told is illegal. And too much weight, in my eyes, Brownie, is given to how the player who's Injury. tackled is injured. Now, that was just a, a miracle that he wasn't hurt yeah. more than he was. I don't mm. want Sean Burgoyne to miss a game for that because uh, I think they need to be consistent with that. But if Toby Green well, if had, done, were, if Toby yeah, Green had done the same yeah. thing the other night, it would have been one or two weeks so automatically because should, of yeah, Toby Green. So I think Sean Burgoyne, he's such a great bloke. Everyone loves him. Maybe there was a bit of a good bloke factor about it. Let's have a look hey, at some well, of the well, other... Well, well, hang on. Hang on. Don't roll anything. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean there's a bit of a good bloke well, factor? Well, some people well, get looked after at the trial. I think period. they do. Yeah. What do you think well, Sean Burgoyne's looked after? I think he has been. What, so you reckon yeah. when Michael Christian looked at that, he said, I actually is a good bloke? Yeah, I think they did the same with Gary Abbott last year with, yeah. with his two incidents and I think if he the, got off. The example I made, Toby Green, if he did that, do you think Toby Green would get a week this week? What are you saying Toby's about? I'm asking you a question. Yeah, you're probably right. OK, thank and, you. And even Lindsay Thomas, Brownie. Lindsay Thomas used to sneeze in Copper Week suspension. I'm, I'm with you on this. The good bloke factor has kicked on in on Sean Burgoyne. Here's some of the other ones. They're, all these ones got a week and they're, they're all pretty similar. And it does come back to do they get injured, do they get concussion. Now, all these got one week, which are very similar to what Sean Burgoyne did the other night. He's so danger. I think all we're He's asking danger for, himself, Brownie. Yeah. I think all we're asking oh, for geez, that's is not consistency. Week. That's not a... Yeah, that's, but if, I think, if that's... But I, if Burgoyne's isn't a week, these aren't a week but I, either. But I, but I think what Damo said earlier is the more mm. important point, and that is Michael Christian Where's has been school? steadfast on this even before he became match review officer about it should be injury based. And it shouldn't be. No. It, shouldn't, no. it shouldn't matter one iota whether uh, the guy is concussed or whether he gets a graze on his cheek. It should all be exactly the same. And the sooner yeah. they eradicate that, the yeah. sooner we will get consistency. No, it's going to happen this week, next week. There'll be another. There'll be one today yeah. or there'll be one next week. And there'll be a crackdown. And the pre there'll be a crackdown. Yeah. yeah. yeah.